Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to scan the images into Bridge. You notice I said into Bridge. If you go to File, Get Photos from Camera, you don't see Get Photos from Scanner. Whereas in Photoshop Elements, you do see that, but not in Photoshop. They consider the Twain driver um, older technology, and usually the scanners come with better software and can handle the capabilities. Now you're probably saying, well, let me go to Photoshop CS5 and see if I can do that. File, import, no, it's not there either. So you can't do it either way. So how do you get around this? Well, let me just minimize both of these. And I'll start my Canon, and I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. Normally, my Canon will start the application. I'll click on Navigator, make sure Scan Import, Photo. I'm going to use the scanner driver. So that way I can customize some things I'm going to show you real quick that you can use on your own. I'm going to choose my output resolution at 600 dpi, which is going to blow this thing crazy. But um, for this is for restoration work, so I tend to like it a little bit larger. Um, Unsharp mask is on, and I'm going to do a little preview. And after the preview, you can see this pretty old photo. And what I usually will do, and this is why I like to use a scanner driver for this, there's only like one thing I usually usually do besides setting um, the output resolution. I'll go over here to the levels, not curves, but the levels. And I'll go to each channel. And I'll just bring it in a little. Not all the way here, but just more a little bit outside. So that I can have the scanner do most of the work for me instead of Photoshop. I'll put it just a little bit there. Just a little bit there. Blue. Move the blue in a little. I don't want to do it too close in case I clip anything, so I got to be careful of that. Okay. And then I'm going to click close. And I'm going to click scan. Now, as you can see, it says, and, and for the Canon, it says to continue scanning. Load the next document, but we're going to click exit. And here is my photo. And as you can see here, I have a choice save or save as a PDF file. So I'm going to click save. Save in and click browse. I'm going to see if I can choose the, where is it? Photoshop CS5, chapter one, click OK. Uh, the file name, I'm going to say Granny Grandpa. I'm not going to save it as a JPEG because that is a, uh, a lossy compression. I'm going to use TIFF. And I'm going to click save. Yeah, I can open and save the location. I'm just going to click close, click close, close. Okay, close again. And I'm going to open up bridge so that you can see that it should be there in chapter one. It puts it in a folder for me. And there it is. So as you can see, if you want to scan photos into bridge, you have to use the scanner software to bring it in. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about how do you get photos from your camera.